All right, here we go. We are going to play Joe and Mac today. As long as Twitch holds out, because it's been having issues tonight. Joe and Mac is a Super NES action platformer that was a port of an arcade game, I believe. I've ever, never actually played the arcade game. But, um, I did play this game, the SNES version. Back in the distant past, way back, like when rock and roll was just rock and fast food, was dinner you couldn't catch, lived two cave dudes named Joe and Mac. Whether it was dinosaur demolition derbies, Tyrannosaurus Rex, ha, <laughs> get it, or pterodactyl hang gliding, peak in the beak, life for the boys was pretty cool. Cool that is until a bunch, a bogus bunch of Neanderthal nerds crashed their villages and scared off all the cave babes. Neanderthals still hadn't discovered toothpaste. Phew. Now all the cave babes are out there somewhere. Lost and lonely. It's up to Joe and Mac to get them back. Alright, so anyway, yeah. I've played this game before. I've beaten it before. I remember digging it a lot. It's on a shorter side, I think. It's not necessarily that hard. I have a feeling I'm gonna struggle though because I don't remember everything. And we'll do it on normal. Alright, let's do this. It's got a little mini map, much like uh Super Mario World. We're gonna do every level. I think you from the looks of it have to do almost every level. I'm not sure what the blue areas are, I don't remember that. Let's check us out, though. Okay, swing your club that way. Alright. Can handle that. I think he can shoot up. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. I can ride on the back of these, can't I? That's how I get that egg that I can't get to now because it's gone. Shit. Oh, well. Very nice of them to provide meat early on for the idiots that uh, get hit right off the bat like I did. You do get weapons. Which we'll be needing. Joe and Mac kind of have a little bit of a floaty jump. It's gonna take some getting used to. Frame rate seems a little low on this game too. But that's how it always was. It's not me this time. I think this takes you to a bonus level maybe? like it? Where am I going? Penny heaven? Yeah. Oh, meat. Okay. That should heal me all the way. I need that. One up. Okay. I can handle that. <clears throat> Excuse me. The keys unlock those gates, I think, on the mini-map that we saw earlier. Actually, hold up one second. I'm gonna check the uh, game audio. This looks like it's a bit on the low side. Maybe. Been having that problem a lot lately. Oh, that's right, he has a way to jump up high. I'm gonna die. Ah. I can't backtrack, can I? No, I can't backtrack. I wonder if I can get that thing to scroll back. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Here's the problem with backtracking in this game. When you go to backtrack... 
you have to be real close to the edge of the screen to get it to move. And it feels like it's going to stop, but it's not necessarily. Alright, well, I missed that too. This is stuff that I used to be really good at doing that I just can't do anymore because it's been so long. How this dinosaur is still asleep. There's a damn caveman war going on in your back, buddy. Get up. Actually, no, never mind. I don't want you to get up. You're done. You're a freaking T-Rex. We don't want that. Okay, boss time. Fairly easy. I don't know why he's regurgitating cavemen, but hey, who do you? Great, you've done it. Yeah, Joe and Max's whole deal is they're, <clears throat> excuse me, they're basically trying to, uh, I think that was a checkpoint, maybe? If I die and I get to continue. Um, Joe and Max's whole deal is they're trying to rescue all these, uh, buxom ladies. This is what you do when Tinder's not a thing in this era. You go around and you kill dinosaurs and cavemen. In an attempt to hook up with ladies. Alright, got the fire. Yeah, you can switch your weapons. As long as you get them, I think you have them, unless you lose continues or something like that, maybe. That was dumb. I should have waited on that. I'm gonna have to try the arcade version of this at some point, though. I've never played it. I wonder what the differences are with it. Oh, boomerang. I think boomerangs are like... They were the go-to the go weapon for me in this game. Kid. Dang it, fire looks like it does a lot of damage. So maybe I'm wrong on that. Can that drop on his head? Nah. He's too low. Oh, Jesus. I have to watch, because... Pushing forward twice real quick causes Joe to uh, do that rolling thing. Which really isn't going to come in too handy, I wouldn't think. Ah. Bye. Uh, I don't need it. <clears throat> oh, I remember this guy. I think I can kill him fairly easily. Fire pretty much roasts this dude. Ha! <laughs> no pun intended. Nice and easy. <clears throat> Great, you've done it. You've got the second kiss you've ever gotten in your life. Alright, we're gonna find out what one of these keys do. does. Oh, okay, so it's a bonus area. 
A very slow moving bonus area, but a bonus area. Not sure what the point is of dropping all this meat. Other than the fact this meat is probably pretty damn delicious. Unless you're a vegan. If so, that's cool. I have no problem with vegans. I wanted to go on a vegan diet myself at one point, but I just couldn't do it. Alright. This is a good part to save state it, because I don't remember how continues work in this game. Just in case I end up getting a game over. And I'm like... Most of the way through the game or something. Oh, I remember these bees. Shit. Okay, it can be hit when they fall on itself. Forgot about that. Oh boy. Jesus, I'm gonna get killed by these things. Ooh, alright. Those are more dangerous than I remember. It's alright, lots of meat to heal me up. Oh god, darn it. One up right there. This game's not particularly hard from what I remember. Jesus. As I get stung to death here. I think we're already at the boss for this level. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I vaguely remember this. I gotta watch that jumping. Mm. Oh shit. Alright, I need to get good here. Stick with the boomerang for this time. Don't have to jump so far up. Bye. Okay, he wasn't too bad. Even in prehistoric times, they had green hair. Shoot. I hope I get more keys later. I want to try like two. Ex oh god, this auto scrolls hats. Uh oh. <laughs> oh crap, I have the same health I did when I started. That's not good. I need some meat. <laughs> right on schedule. That didn't heal me for very much. Probably want to be off the bottom platform. So you can stand on enemies' heads in this game. Area. Should give me a key here. 
so I need to keep an eye out for red eggs. One up down there. Crap, can I get back up? Oh. Crap, I can't get the key. I got the one ups, I guess. I guess those blueberries are just like those little meat dropping places anyway, though, so it's not the end of the world. As long as I'm not missing stages or anything like that. Whoa. Yeah, I do. I remember this boss. I guess stay away from him. Boomerangs for sure. I'm killing him in one hit with the boomerangs, so might as well use that over the fireballs. Hang on one second. <clears throat> one of my dogs is trying to get a little bit too friendly with one of my other dogs. God, I used to know exactly where to stand for this boss. <laughs> Just basically out of the damn corners. There is another weapon, I've not seen it yet though. Oh boy, I remember this. Boy, this is some pterodactyl cruelty here. Nah. Shit, 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 shit. I'm gonna die. Yep, oh, yep, right there. Alright, it's boss time again. Now what? That does sound good. As you can probably guess, I don't remember very much about this game in terms of, uh... What's coming up. <clears throat> Threw that fireball right over his head. for fireballs and you can do it. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Crap. Alright, I just gotta hit him one more time, I think. Bye. Oh boy, the ice cave. Yes, there's a nice level. Yes, it's slippery. But thankfully, it's not particularly slippery. It's not real bad. I think this level is kind of tricky, though. I think this is where things start kind of getting a little bit more difficult. Because, in all honesty, this hasn't been that bad so far. Mm. 
I knew that was gonna be something stupid. I don't even know why I tried to get it. Okay, die quick. I got Caitlyn coming. dying way too much for comfort. I don't want to keep dying. I have to walk across these. Shit. I gotta go across these boulders. That was not graceful at all. I'm still alive. Alright, let's see how I get her here. Ah. Sucker. Get this guy right there. Let these idiots fall. I needed to jump on one. Let me get that one up. Oh god, this boss is a pain, isn't it? I think I know what this boss is. How the hell do I fight this dude? I don't remember. Okay. If you're just gonna stay there and keep doing that, then I might be able to just kill you with fire. Slowly. Oh god, what are you doing? Okay, I thought he was getting ready to charge or something. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh shit. I'm gonna die here. Ah, that too close. I'm gonna go back to the boomerangs here for a second. The fireballs hit harder. But it's easier to catch them with the boomerangs. I'm pretty sure I used to beat this guy with the fire, but... Stay back when he gets close. Don't do what I just did. No time limit, just take my time here, kill him. Oh god. Oh crap, he does do something else. I remember this now. Wow, this is getting grim. Like mutilating this thing. Crap. Ah. Switch to fire. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. I think that's like it in terms of levels left. I think there's a sixth level, but this is a very short game. We're probably gonna fly right through it. <coughs> Excuse me. Levels in this are very short, if you hadn't noticed. Yep, our buddy Pterodactyl's back. My 
like racking my brain trying to remember how. Well, if you're gonna mess around on the bottom of the screen, I guess I can just kill you with fireballs. You know you're a flying enemy, you should be like off the ground or something here. Man, don't you do something other than this? You're slowing down, why are you slowing down here? Swoop up, aren't you? Yeah. Wow, that was easy. That was easier than the first one. How did you just walk over to me? There was, there's a, there's a cliff right there. Were you walking on air? All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna get a drink here real quick. Throw a spug at me a little bit. <clears throat> oh boy, I see lava. This probably won't be easy. S switch to boomerangs, I think. Oh boy, pits. Ah. Die, you caveman. Kidnapper. Ooh, I don't know how I pulled that off, but I did. Oh, I remember these things. Bonus area, maybe? Key opportunity? No. Ah, you just jumped down a pit, you idiot. one up. Got it. Oh boy, we're coming up on a boss, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Oh, it, oh wait a minute. It's a T-Rex without a platform. I remember this. Or wait, that's not a T-Rex. He has a neck. Frontosaurus, maybe? Takes a lot of hits. I vaguely remember this dude. I don't think he was that bad when I could kill him back in the day, but I might as well be playing this blind right now. Yeah. Shit. 
gonna try boomerangs. It's easier to hit them. Mouth open, that means he's gonna keep throwing boulders. Oh, she's spitting cavemen out again. I'm gonna get your stomach acid checked. There's Cavemen are coming out like in pretty good shape. Like you seem to have digestive problems. Shit. Uh, I preferred it when you spit out rocks. Alright, I almost have them. Could have been worse. Still don't have a key. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, let's try fire again, even though it's been letting me down. Okay, here's another opportunity for a key, I guess. I hope they're not going to make me choose between keys and one-ups this time, because I could use some one-ups. Alright, there we go. So I think to deal with the red shells, if I'm remembering correctly, is you need to break them without any enemies on the screen to get the pterodactyl to show up. Maybe that's what I've been doing wrong. Okay, note to self, you can't jump on top of the little dinosaurs and hurt you. That's weird. Oh shit. Oh god, that's not good. I need to, like, throw a fireball every time I jump, because it tends to be things rolling at me when I land. This game has a sequel I want to check out. I've never actually played the sequel. I don't know if the sequel was an arcade port, too, or if they made it originally just for the SNES. Okay, this level doesn't seem to be as bad. I don't remember what this... Oh, man, I remember this guy. Shoot, I don't remember how his movements work. Pop 
Ah, oh, right there, okay. He doesn't have a lot of hit points. I'm guessing because his vulnerability is so limited. Wrong way. Surely do that. Two more. Ah. All right. Gonna bounce over here. Maybe. There we go. No? Where the hell are you going? There we go. Oh, you didn't die. Shoot, you have another. The units of health are very misleading in this game. Shit. Where are you going? Straight to hell. Damn right I did it. Okay, I have a key. Let's uh, see what this is all about. Oh. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Do I get anything for that? Oh, I just saved this lady. Okay. Oh, and she healed me all the way. Alright. To get healed from kisses, and I need to find more women. Save. Oh, I remember this level. I think things get a little bit trickier here. Oh shit, lightning. Okay, I do know how you're supposed to get that one up. Actually, no, I don't, because the pterodactyl proceeded to fall down that pit. Hmm. Oh, well, doesn't matter. I should get some here. There is something the other way I wanted to get, the wheel, which I haven't found one yet. Wheel's another weapon you get that comes in handy. Oh shit. Maybe this is why I thought this area was hard. Ah, shit. I need to get up to that meat, maybe. Preferably. Thanks. I love a game where an enemy goes away and then it doesn't respawn on you. Oh, wait, that's the end of the level already. Okay. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, this one's undead. Because that was the thing in Caveman times. Undead dragons. Or dragons, dinosaurs. I've been playing too many sword and sorcery RPGs. Jesus. Oh, God. Okay, I can be hit by the pieces. So I probably want to be under here. 
Oh shit, okay, I keep falling. How the hell did I dodge him when I was a kid? How the shit? This guy taking some lives off me. He's dying fairly quickly. Oh, crap. That's right. You do this. I forgot about that. You didn't heal me all the way. Blondes do not, in fact, have more fun. Alright, we're gonna check out, uh, since I have a key, that other blue one over there, that's just a checkpoint. You don't need to go to that one. So let's go in this gate. What's in here? Easy. Alright, that healed me up all the way. That's good. Needed that. Yeah, we're definitely coming up on the end of this already. This is a very short game. And the funny thing is, I didn't even need that because I got the falling me level. I don't know if this is the last level, because there might be another one after this. I think there is another, yeah, there's another level after this. Ooh. I got the other weapon I was looking for. Those things hit hard, and they work like a wheel. problem is you can only have two on a screen at once. So I th actually think they're an upgrade over the fireballs. Hitboxes are kind of weird in this game. You may have noticed. Like when I threw that wheel up, it had to make contact with that Neanderthal's body and not his, like, legs. Oh, shit. This is another T-Rex, isn't it? I think it is. Yep. This one's a little bit trickier. 
because I think his stuff when he spits it, the projectiles, the Neanderthals, the rocks, or whatever. They rebound off the background behind me. There's like a little wall there or something. Probably a bad idea against this guy. I'm gonna try it anyway. Need to getting closer. Well, not that close, but. Need to make my hit count, not just randomly throw wheels at this guy. There's like an invincibility frame with some of these bosses. Like you hit them, and then the next few hits don't do any damage to them. Crap. Alright. Back to boomerangs. Just so I can keep distance. Damn it. He's getting me with his projectiles every time now. He may kill me. So hard to dodge these rocks. Let's if I go over here. Probably nothing good. Yep. <laughs> oh wait a minute! I'm I was standing on that platform. a little bit easier to dodge them. Ouch. As I get hit. God darn it. I don't know if I have... I don't know if I have one life left or if I've got two. I don't know if this counts zero or not. I'm gonna get hit again here. No way I don't get hit again. Yep, there he goes. Oh shit. Okay, I have another life. I'm good. I should be able to do this now. I just want to get to the next level. <laughs> Got him. Okay. I'm going to save stated here in case I die and it makes me do the last level again. Because this is the actual end game right here. I remember this. I actually think wheels work pretty well here because of the environment. We're inside of the dinosaur. And plenty of live cavemen in here because, again, dinosaurs apparently have something wrong with their digestive tracts and things could just live inside of them. I was going to say something's going to fall from these ceilings. Let's 
drop some more wheels, let them run ahead. Okay, now I kind of wish you guys to drop some extra lives. I think I'm coming. Oh, shit, I don't know why I ran backwards. I think I'm coming up on a boss. Yep. Oh, God, I remember this now. What the hell? Okay, I vaguely remember the clamps. Get away from the clamps. I don't remember clams being this much of a pain in the ass. Darn it. I'm gonna die to the clams. I think the wheel would work better. Hit this thing now. I'm guessing the dinosaur got back up and started swallowing clams, because otherwise I have no idea what's going on here. I'm guessing that's it. Okay, what's coming now? I think I want to use boomerangs on this guy. I really wish you had a life meter so I knew what the hell was going on. I remembered he was going to do that. I have no idea why Satan has possessed this uh, dinosaur. I guess this is good of an explanation as anything. Oh shit, what did that do? Okay, causes rocks to fall, that was easy enough. Yeah, do more of that, because that's easy to dodge. Okay, thanks. Well, if he keeps doing that, this is going to be pie, but he's not going to keep doing that. What I want him to do is to not do that thing where he summons Mac. Yeah, I bet that's what he's about to do. Yeah. scary thing is I think this guy changes color as the fight goes on. I thought he turned blue or something, but I could be remembering that wrong. I kind of hope I am, otherwise, man, this fight's going to be long. Because <laughs> he's not changed color at all right now. He's got to be dying now. I'm not doing it bad considering that I'm I have pretty much no life at the moment. Did I beat him? Alright.
try it. So I did that on one continue, assuming that, uh, oh god. Oh shit, no. He's not done. He does turn blue, doesn't he? Oh, what the hell's happening? I, like, literally, I put the controller down. I thought this was over. <laughs> oh, man, I was ready to turn blue. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna die now. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, shit. Yeah, where are you gonna start me at? Oh, you're not gonna start me in that damn... Yeah, okay. Because <sighs> killing that... T-Rex is gonna cause me to lose all my lives again, so you know what? We're gonna start right here. And I'm just gonna have to beat this devil with one life. So it's one of those situations like I have an Ninja Gaiden where I've got one chance to do it, which is gonna make it a little bit harder, but shit, I don't wanna get hit. Then again, I think there's a good bit of meat up ahead. Get here with full health. That first form's not that hard, it just takes a while to kill him. Because if I use fire or I use the wheels, they're not really gonna be able to hit him from where he's at, I don't think. Shit. There you go, keep the life up, that's good. Here full health, so I'm gonna save it. Kept me with my weapons, which is good too, because I would have sucked loose boomerang. <laughs> oh crap, the clams. I forgot about the clams. I need to get these guys on the same side. This is what's going to cost me all my life right here. The problem is, if you hit them and they're not facing the right way, they bounce backwards. Like that. I need to kind of hit them slow so they don't bounce up in my area. Oh, I got two hearts to do this with now. Fire kills him in one hit, okay. I might try to kill him with fire. Kill him with fire. I just gotta make sure I don't jump into him. Make this go a little bit quicker, maybe. This seems to be working well.
So if I can figure out how to get past the clams without taking a hit, or taking a lot of hits. Okay, he took two hits with fire that time. This form's fairly easy. It's just a matter of having a life to get past the next form. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Now the hard part. I'm gonna try fire. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Okay, he does that, he's not too bad. This. Any uptake with that? Where he starts doing that. Okay, I might have figured him out. He's not really that bad, so long as he doesn't pop up in some place, it's gonna hit me with those fireballs. She doesn't appear on top of me. Shit, Jesus Christ, I call that or what? <laughs> He's changing colors. Now I don't feel very safe because he can apparently pop up around top of me. Really a hard. Oh shit. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I can't take another hit. I need to kill this too quick. Please die soon. Or I gotta do this all over again. Oh Jesus, what the hell's that? <laughs> He's gonna appear on top of me and kill me. Calling it. Nah. Ooh, I'm still alive, I'm still alive. Glad I moved. God damn it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having a hard time dodging that. Let's do this again. Alright, I gotta figure these clams out. Top me. There we go. Let him move ahead and turn around. That's how you do it. Don't touch him because he's only going to go forward. Let him turn around on the corner. And then hit him when they're facing you. That one's right in front of me. Shit. That was a little bit trickier. 
Okay, now they're facing me. That one's facing me, that one's facing me. Perfect, I got this. I have more than enough life for the devil. Alright, fire. Watch, I'm gonna constantly get hit by these Joe clones. Or Mac clones, whatever they are. If I can hit him as soon as he lands at just the right moment, I can kill him in one shot, it looks like. Okay, sometimes it takes one hit, sometimes it takes two. Odd. Shit. Okay, now I have all this health and now I'm taking hits I shouldn't be taking. Not optimal, not optimal. Not good. Got him. Alright, come on. I'd rather take on the blue form. The blue form in some ways might be easier. Actually, I probably shouldn't say that blue form is a pain in the ass either way. Shit. <laughs> Why am I suddenly having a problem jumping over him? Alright, can you die? Please? I know you want to. There you go. Alright. Kiss me, girl. I got not a boss fight. Oh, you are the boss. How rude. Oh hell, I forgot he does that. Oh god. <laughs> oh, now you're gonna start launching attacks you don't normally do on me. Okay. Got him. So far, so good. Crap. I hate bosses that can appear on top of you. Okay, now that I figured out this little fire spit move, I kind of want him to do that more than the uh, triangle thing. Or the circle thing, whatever the hell this is. They move in a triangle, that's what I meant. I know my circles from my triangle. Oh shit, we're on top of me, damn it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 
God darn it, you're gonna kill me. <laughs> After I had all that life, I figured I was guaranteed to win this. that fireball. Alright, come on, die already. <laughs> God, I missed them, darn it. Oh, he hit me. Crap, I'm still alive. Oh, man. I got him. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> if he had hit me, if that, if that fireball had taken off my life, I, that would have been it. <sighs> By all rights, I should have died there. Man, oh man. So, normal mode is still pretty easy. In all honesty, I could probably go through this again and not have to use a continue. I think I have things mostly figured out at this point. But, uh, yeah, short little game. It's simple. It's very easy for the most part. You play it a few times, you're going to figure out how everything moves. You're going to figure out where everything's at, and it's not going to take you long at all to get through it. But it was a nice little platform time waster back in the day. I liked it. I like the graphics, too. Everything's pretty colorful. Ah. Someone, like, those girls might want to open their eyes or something, because they're, like, running around all happy, and they're going to trip. I'm just saying. The end. That was it. That's Joe and Mac.